Hey makers, this is Dravin, and in this episode, I am going to talk about one of the interesting topic which just has been announced. We will talk about how we can work with complex data model with EID View, assisted by Copilot. Earlier as well, I have created many videos around Copilot where we given some sort of prompt and build the Power Apps application. The biggest limitation was the earlier version was we were able to create only single table application. Real world applications are always complex in the nature and many times we need to deal with multiple tables along with the relationships. In this episode, we'll talk about how we can handle this kind of complex data model with EID view and Copilot. So let's jump in directly to the Power Apps portal. Open the Power Platform Admin Center and make sure you go to the setting option. It will open the tenant setting over here and make sure that Copilot in Power Apps is enabled over here. Let me just click on that. Make sure that this switch is turned on. Also make sure that whichever environment where you are performing this test, it is ready with the early release cycle. Now go to the Power Apps homepage. Make sure from the top right corner, you just enable this feature, try the new data experience. Make sure that toggle is turned on. Let me turn that on. Now here you need to start typing your prompt. Let's say I want to build one employee management system to store the employee information with their multiple educational and experience details. So I will just write a prompt like this. Employee management to store the employee information, their multiple educational and experience detail and click on this button. As soon as you write this prompt, it will start setting up the app and the data behind it. So let it to be happen. And here we are. You can see that this has created this beautiful ER diagram with a table structure over here. Over here, if you have observed this overall stuff, this is your ER diagram view. On the top, you have also the manual option to add or an additional table. And on the right hand side as well, you can see this is the co-pilot prompt where you can add some additional prompt and do more things over here. So the first prompt that we have added was this one, like employee management to store employee information and their multiple educational and experience detail. And as a result, it has created one employee table and it's multiple experience and educational table. And over here, you can see that employee is one, but one to many relationship and one to many relationship has been successfully created over here. Even over here, let's say if you click on any table, it will show you the detail schema over here as well. Or let's say if I open up any relationship table, it will also show you that schema for that. You can customize the table the way you want. So let's say for an example here, I have multiple experience for different employee. So I have company name and position. Let's say for an example, I just want to add like add the start year and end year for the company as well. So probably I can add some additional prompt by selecting the table. So I selected my experience table and now here I will add one additional prompt that add start year and end year for the experience and let's hit enter. And here we are. You can see that just within a couple of seconds, it just added this start date and end year column for me over here. And it just has the number type as well. So looks good to me. Now let's do one more label up here. Click on the employee table. And right now you can see that I have basic information of the employee. Employee name, employee email, phone number and department. Now let's say for an example, I just want to add a couple of more column like gender, total experience in month, expected CTC and actual CTC. So I just added a prompt here, add gender, total experience in month, expected and actual CTC columns. Let's hit enter and let's see what it come up with. And here we are. You can see that it has created all the columns perfectly here like gender column, total experience in month, expected CTC, actual CTC. And you can see that this is number column, this is our currency column and this is a gender column. So which has been perfectly created over here. 
right so we are ready with the data model and here if you have observed that it will show you the entire er diagram as a preview for you so that makes your life easier to understand the data model perfectly even there are some manual operations as well available so let's say for an example if you want to delete some table you have delete option as well if you want to hide any data you have that option as well or let's say even from here if you want to describe any new table or let's say if you want to add some data from your excel or csv or sharepoint list you can connect that as well now you need to tell me in the comment section that which other systems ER diagram you want me to try in my next video. I will try to prepare something around with Copilot and this ERD view. Now once your things are ready you can save and open the app. So that will create a power apps for you over here. But this new table experience with ER diagram with the help of Copilot is really game changer. So far we were able to create only with the one table but now we are able to create complete relationship database model within just few seconds. Isn't it cool and amazing? Now I'm say selecting save and open the app that will create a power apps and uh, it will create some sort of tables as well behind the scene. So let's click on save and open the app and that will start creating a power apps for you and behind the scene it will create those table in the back end. So let's wait for few more minutes and here we are. It has created this power apps as well for me. I'm not expecting more from the power app side so we are good with that but at least the data model has been perfectly created that was my expectation with this one. Tell me in the comment section how do you find this new feature and tell me your system for which I should try out this copilot and show it in the next video. Make sure you hit subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. And follow me on my Instagram and Twitter because these are the platform where I am uploading short content on Power Platform. The links are available in the description box.